you mentioned the need to find consensus on using natural wealth and the need to embrace sustainable development as a way of life, as you put it. What's the main lesson that can be learned from Botswana's experience in balancing these interests of energy, extractives and tourism? I think the biggest lesson to learn is that both need very careful management in that both of them do get depleted at the end, one way or the other. And as each one of them is critical to the livelihood of people, each one of them does need to be managed properly. But one thing that needs to be remembered about Botswana is that we run what we call a consolidated fund. Mm -hmm. And that means that all resources made out of minerals, out of tourism, gets put into one fund centrally and then it gets redistributed to the whole country based on development needs of the country so that any part of the country that needs whatever it needs for development benefits from diamond even if it doesn't have diamonds it will have a hospital built out of diamonds and this as far as we are concerned therefore makes it imperative that all Botswana are aware of conservation throughout because education is free in this country. So is uh, public health. It's free in this country. And all these things are paid for through money made out of minerals. Yeah. And this is for all citizens of our country. And this is why it's important that as we mine diamonds wherever they are mined, all Botswana who go to hospital, all Botswana who send their children to school yeah. have to treasure and understand when we say hunting seasons are closed mm. this year. They understand that that's conservation intended to value or to make the tourism sector more fruitful for the following year and therefore makes health services and education services more profitable the following year. So all of these things... They are all entwined. Yeah. They are interlinked, yes.